Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we bring you supersonic ducks from the Irish foreshore. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. We've caught the late night ferry over to Ireland, ready for a morning duck flight. We've been promised two guns in action, Jason Doyle and Aaron Pickard. But when we get there we find Jason shouldering a camera instead of a shotgun. Still, two cameras and one gun is better than no guns at all. So let's get to it. It's still too dark to film as we get the first rays of sunlight over the horizon but the boys already have everything in place. And as we switch on the IR, Aaron wastes no time in getting down to business. Two already, this is a promising start and good retrieving practice for the lab too. You don't go to Ireland in December for the weather, and today is no exception to the rule. It's blowing a gale, but Aaron is clad in deer hunter's finest and ready for anything. He judges the lead expertly to pick out another duck. Get on, get on. Foreshore shooting can be a gruelling affair, but everything seems to be coming together nicely this morning, with a steady stream of ducks coming in. Good boy, bring it on. Finally we get enough light to switch off IR mode. Aaron rewards us with a spectacular shot to pick out a high bird. A few misses block Aaron's copybook, but he's otherwise making full use of his gun and Ely cartridge combo. We're at the halfway point and the wind shows no signs of abating. This makes for some cracking sport when the ducks circle ahead, but all too often they stay too high to offer a sensible shot. 
finally, one bucks the trend. It's all quiet again, but this is real wild fowling. You can't expect a massive bag. It's all about the experience of being on the foreshore. From nowhere, we get another chance at a shot. Another pause, but the numbers of wildfowl are still clearly in evidence. We know we'll get another chance before long. A lone duck towering above presents a challenge that Aaron is equal to. Another one comes in at speed and requires real precision when it comes to giving it lead. With that, we call it a day. We've had some cracking ducks and a master respectable bag, even if there was only one gun. Jason emerges from behind the camera to help with the pickup. Well Aaron, your first time shooting with me on Wildfowl and your first time shooting for the shooting show. <laughs> um, my normal cameraman wasn't available to come and film me so I had to swap the shotgun for the camera and I invited Aaron along. Aaron's a gamekeeper in Wicklow so I invited him along to shoot and in fairness I'm quite impressed. He, he shot really well. We ended up with 9 or 10 mallard and best part of 20 widgeon and 1 teal. So, Shot well, well done. Thank you, Jace. Yeah, it was a um, great sport. Um, when we got in there, there was a lot of ducks moving around, but it was really dark, so we had to wait a little while, and then they started coming in. Uh, first, the, the widgeon and the tail came in, 
Um, a few mallard, shot some really nice high ones and uh, missed a few low ones but we won't talk about that. Um, there, there was a steady stream of ducks pretty much all morning. Um, mallard were towards the end uh, offering some really nice high, high birds um, and I've got to say thanks to Jace for giving me the invite to come down. No problem and um, you managed to steal my new <laughs> Deer Hunter Highland jacket as well. How did you find shooting in that? Oh, I, oh, it's a great jacket. Um, I, well, I've ordered myself one anyway, so <laughs> it's, it's great to move in, great to shoot in, but really warm. It's quite quite windy down here today, um, but yeah, I, I'm well impressed with it and to shoot and it's a dream. And um, I supplied you with some Ely Alpha Max as well, 36 gram sixes and fives, and you got some really nice kills with them. How did you find them? Yeah, even out of quarter and half choke, they were killing birds well up there. Um, I was really impressed. They're not a cartridge I've used before, but I'm well impressed with them. Yeah, I think they were very popular a long time ago, but over the years they've sort of lost favour a little bit. But I've got some this year for, just for my wild fowling, and um, I've been really impressed with them. Um, some of the more modern cartridges have t seem to have taken over from the Alpha Max, but um, they can still pull their weight when it comes to wild fowling, definitely. Yeah, I was, I was well impressed with some of the widgeon. They were really high, and they just fell one shot and just dropped. It's great to see, like, clean kill. Okay, well, thanks very much for coming and um, I'll, send you the, I'll send you the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jace. <laughs>